fire on the cargo ship Mares Conan. The Maersk vessel Honam is a container ship operated by Maersk Line. The vessel caught fire on March 6, 2018 while sailing in the Arabian Sea. Five crew members of 27 died, including one rescued crew member who later died of his injuries. The Maersk Honam is an all-cell container ship with a capacity of 15,226 teos. Its overall configuration mimics that of similarly sized container ships with a wheelhouse approximately two-thirds forward to improve visibility over container stacks, aft engine room and container stowage in nine cargo holds as well as on deck. The total length of the vessel is 340.5 meters. The beam is 53.5 meters long. Maersk Honam was built at Ulsan in South Korea. There was an order for Maersk Line under a contract for 1 billion 100 million US dollars for the construction of nine container ships with a nominal capacity of 14,020 foot equivalents. These vessels, the so-called H-Class, have been designed with increased operational flexibility compared to older designs. This means that they have not been optimized for a specific route. The contract for the construction of the ship was signed on July 8, 2015, and the keel of the ship was laid on December 10 with shipyard number 2873. The vessel was launched on May 12, 2017 and delivered to the Maersk subsidiary in Singapore on August 31st. On March 6, 2018 at approximately 2.45 p.m., a major fire broke out in the forward cargo bay No. 3 of Maersk Honam while the vessel was in the Arabian Sea about 900 nautical miles southeast of Salalah. Oman en route from Singapore to Suez with a cargo of 7,860 containers and a crew of 27, 13 Indians, 9 Filipinos, 2 Thais, 1 Romanian, 1 South African and 1 British. The crew tried to extinguish the fire using the ship's KO2 fire extinguishing system, and also used other firefighting equipment, but could not do this. The distress signal was sent at 3.55 p.m. and at approximately 5.15 p.m. the crew left the ship using life rafts and one lifeboat. 23 crew members were evacuated to the nearby merchant ship ASL series, while the remaining four, two Filipinos, one Indian and one South African, were reported missing. Two of the rescued crew members required urgent medical attention, and the other, a Thai national, died of his injuries the next day. The three injured crew members were later transferred to the Indian Coast Guard of the MKTU Shur. After that, their condition worsened. Maersk Line announced on March 12 that the remains of three unidentified crew members were found on board, leaving one officially missing, who was later declared dead. On March 9, a fire aboard the drifting vessel Maersk Honam was reportedly taken over by the ICGS Shur and two offshore vessels, CSC Nelson and Maersk Involver. The rescue operation was led by Smith Salvage. The fire continued to burn, although controlled, until April, when the vessel was taken in tow to Jebel Ali port to unload intact cargo. To recover the costs, the ship owner declared general average. The long-standing principle that cargo owners must pay a portion of the value of their cargo to offset rescue efforts. The value determined by the corrector was 42.5% of the value of the cargo, in addition to the deposit of 11.5%.
This means that the owners of the remaining cargo had to pay a total of 54% of the value of their cargo before they could take over. In October 2020, an investigation by the Singapore Transport Safety Investigation Bureau TSIB, ended. The investigation revealed that although the cause was not definitively determined, the fire was most likely caused by the storage of 1,000 tons of sodium dichloroisocyanurate dihydrate SDID. This powerful oxidizer was in 54 containers in cargo hold number 3. Electrical faults Heating of the fuel tank, incorrect declaration of goods and other source of cargo ignition have been ruled out as possible causes. Sodium dichloroisocyanurate dihydrate, SDID, is classified under Class 9 of the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code. Instead of the stricter 5.1 IMJ class, oxidizing substances. However, the report states that this classification could only have been associated with testing in relatively small amounts. Sodium dichloroisocyanurate dihydrate can be much more likely to decompose uncontrollably when tightly packed in a shipping container, especially if water has been spilled into the shipping container. This possibility was not recognized in the code. Crew members affected by the fire reported shortness of breath, thick white smoke, and a smell of bleach. This corresponds to sodium dichloroisocyanurate dihydrate, which gives off thick white smoke and chlorine, a gas when decomposed. Maersk's uniforms retrieved from the ship were almost completely discolored from their original blue. The combustion of sodium dichloroisocyanuric dihydrate could also result in the release of other gases, including trichlomine, cyanogen chloride or phosgene, which are extremely hazardous. After the completion of the investigation, the Central Inventory Bureau recommended additional temperature sensors in the cargo holds, as well as a specially developed contract for the carriage of dangerous goods, containers for cargo and the revision of the standards of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, for firefighting for container ships. The owner decided to reuse the stern of the new ship, which will be built at a South Korean shipyard. The damaged bow of the vessel and the living quarters of the vessel were removed for scrapping at the Dubai Dry Dock. The stern was delivered from Jebel Ali to Koche aboard the MV Singuang Hua semi-submersible ship, which departed Dubai in February 2019. Hyundai Heavy Industries built a new bow block and accommodation block, as well as a rebuilt ship, renamed Maersk Halifax but retaining the Maersk Honam number, and re-entered service following ship refurbishment in August 2019. Thank you all for watching. Write comments, like, subscribe to the channel. All the best to you.